all of the witnesses. Uh, and we'll begin the question portion. I'm going to uh, begin. First of all, Mr. Sharp, you, you raised an issue that uh, I have great concern about as well in terms of the development of the, the CFPB in terms of the timing. If we, you know, we're, we're at March, the beginning of March, we have no nominee for a director. We have a t we're going up against the timeline here. And I think there are some very fundamental questions as to what's going to happen in the short term if, if, a, uh, if the situation should arise that there is a not a nominee or the nominee hasn't been confirmed, et cetera, et cetera. So I thank you for raising that issue. I think it's very real and certainly uh, lends again to more uncertainty, which I think we're trying to all, in all facets of our economy, trying to uh, uh, create and, and, and bring about more certainty so that we can get, get moving again. Let me, I would like to ask Mr. Um, Nielsen uh, a, a couple of questions. Uh, small home building companies, uh, how will you be affected by the rules requiring, uh, requiring banks to retain a portion of, uh, of the credit risk associated with a mortgage loan? Is this a great concern with you, for you all? Yes, it is. In fact, um, that, uh, that could be, have a, a dampening effect on, on the ability of uh, mortgage creators to create mortgages, and in that it would reduce the number of home builders that would qualify for, for a mortgage. Mm -hmm. And what would you say the most common reason now that banks are giving to home builders for denial of credit? We had, uh, Mr. Westmoreland was here for the last questioning. I think uh, he, he was hitting on this very topic. Uh, is it regulatory guidance? Is it lack of confidence in the economy? Is it uh, real Just estate prices? Is it all the above? Two different issues there. The first issue is, is to the consumer that's trying to buy a home, and certainly the tightening of FHA regulations, the tightening of uh, uh, banking regu regulations in terms of um, scores and that kind of credit scores and that kind of thing are an issue for someone trying to purchase a home today. The other piece is for home builders trying to get uh, financing, trying to access capital to be able to build, which uh, the regulators have absolutely shut down. And that's the reason why we believe there needs to be a legislative response to that kind of, uh, of a problem. We have talked to the regulators. We've said, you know, uh, you need to be able, bankers need to be able to make well underwritten loans in reasonable markets like Tulsa, Oklahoma, or uh, North or South Dakota and parts of Texas where home building can still be done. And in fact, the regulators say, well, we encourage that with our examiners. But when you go out and talk to the community bankers, as you heard in your first panel, the examiners aren't telling them that. And so if the examiners are telling them to reduce their real estate uh, lending book, they're going to do that because they have to do that. So that's, that's the concern. It's, it's, it's twofold, one on the consumer side, one on the production side. All right, thank you. Um, as this is uh, really for anybody, uh, it'll be my final question. President Obama uh, recently announced an initiative to reassess regulations in, in light of their effectiveness and their effort and their effect on economic growth and jobs. I'm curious to know, have, have you all or has anybody in the course of your businesses, uh, have you ever been the uh, beneficiary of reduced in regulation uh, and over and not oversight, but uh, you know, it seems to me we're just piling more regulation upon more regulation. Are any of your regulations going away uh, to ease the uh, the um, uh, the business uh, moving forward? I can guarantee you, Madam Chairman, that we have seen no reduction in regulations. In fact, we see additional regulations at this point. Now, you know, I guess you have to give them time to do that, but we certainly see no move at this point to reduce regulations that affect our builders. Right. Anybody else have a comment on that? Mr. Sharp? I, I, would, just, I would just agree with, with what my colleague here said. I agree. I, I haven't seen a reduction right. anywhere. Thank you. Ms. Malone.